No, she can't. You guys are okay? Come on. Hey guys, welcome back to the Mass Swine Backyard Barbecue, where in this episode, I'll be taking these oxtails, throwing them right here in the Weber kettle, using the Aura Kettle Zone cooking system and the Tip Top Temp. We're gonna smash all those accessories together to produce some delicious barbecue heaven treats. See that? It's about to go down. And these have been in the refrigerator since yesterday. Yeah, just getting nice and tender ish something like that you know what i mean All right, guys, it's been half an hour. This should be already in its element doing its thing. I'm gonna go ahead and put the meat on the grill, get this lid right back on there really quick. And then we ain't gonna come back and mess with this till about three hours. I'll set a timer and we'll come back and we'll check on the ox hills then. All right, see you guys in three. Yeah. Two hours, 58 minutes. We're closing in on that three hour mark. And I have done absolutely nothing to this kettle. I haven't even come out here one time to check on it. I've actually been snoozing. Um, now, temperature wise, according to this Weber temp gauge, it's showing 225. According to how it feels, oh man, that actually feels in that low and slow range. You know, when you're around 225 in that zone, you, you can actually put your hand on the kettle lid and it won't, and it's not that hot. Around 250, 275, you got like a second. It's time to take that hand out because it starts to burn. 
this feels legit i have the tip top temp at the number three mark according 90 degrees to the uh you know to the top of the tip top temp and according to the little chart it was 60 degrees out here and that's kind of where to get that low and slow it recommended i start i put it on the number three and that's all i did the bottom vent it's probably just a little bit open probably like a crack 10 percent maybe so man i i i like what i see so far just just from what i can see on the exterior so we're at the three hour mark let's just check this thing and see what we got Wow. All right, it's still got a ways to go. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is put all this inside of a aluminum sheet pan, foil on top and put it right back out here. do I'm gonna open this up to about four and a half get some temperatures to go up now and how about I come out here in another two hours and we see see what it's like in two more hours yeah all right guys we're at the five hour mark that means these oxtails have been in that aluminum sheet pan with foil for two hours straight looks like the kettle's been at around the 300 mark around 275 300 i'm cool with that now we're gonna take them out we're gonna see what they look like and if they're ready we're gonna throw some of this sweet baby rays i got the sweet and spicy sauce we're gonna hit it with some sauce put it back on the cooling racks and let it set for another 15 minutes so let's see where we're at oh man Oh yeah, it looks really, really good. Look at the bone. Look at that. That's all jelly right there. Look at that. Oh yeah, these things are ready. Woo! All right, let's get it on that cooling rack. Hit it with a little bit of Sweet Baby Ray's. And then in 15 minutes, 20 minutes, it's time to dig in. All right, guys, it's time to dig into these oxtails. Let's see how we did. Man, they smell and they look great. This looks a little dark, but don't be confused. This is not burnt. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get hands all crazy in this. So, look at that, I'm gonna, woo! Oh man, that is, Mm. Oh my God, that is rich, tender. It is freaking juicy. It is like freaking, reminds me of pig's feet. It is so freaking, uh, what's the, what's the texture? Like, like the gelatin, the man. Mm. You know what? That is freaking awesome. Let me give a little bit to the lady behind 
the camera, you try that. Okay. Mmm. That is that. Mm. Is, Ooh, that that's is freaking really heavy. good. Is that right? You like mm. that? Mmm. You know what, guys? If you haven't tried oxtail, this is a great thing to put on that smoker. A lot of people like to braise it. You don't have to get the results just like this. It's freaking succulent. That's the term I was looking for. Um, I've made oxtail with beans in my Mexican beans. Like the way you would put a ham hock. If you throw these straight in there, you don't need to season them or nothing. Those beans will come out freaking awesome. I've done it already. So you know what? This was awesome. That freaking tip top temp. Man, I got to give it to it. It held that 225 like a champ that multi-zone from aura man i i just i just think that that thing has it's one of my top best kettle accessories and now i'm going to include that tip top temp with that and i just think that that's the ultimate freaking setup for low and slow or for indirect cooking so that's my input guys look at that i wonder if you can see this really well but go ahead and come in. Can you come in? But that's just freaking goodness. Okay. Mm. You know what, guys? I'm going to have to see you guys. Look at that. Damn. I'm going to have to see you guys in my next one. Because I'm a little busy right now.